Hi, welcome to SolidWorks 2023 video tutorial. I've called this one a simple stand. Why? Because it looks like a stand and it's quite easy to do. So let's have fun with SolidWorks. Okay, first I want to define some equations. So first the stand length and this might be 200 millimeter. Then the stand diameter and this might be 30 millimeter. And the last one, the wire diameter and this could be one millimeter. Just one. I think caps lock is on. Yes, I need one. Okay. And confirm. Now let's go for our first sketch on the front plane. I want to draw a line like this and the length should be of course the stand length. So that would be the stand length. This one here. And confirm. And confirm. Now I want to add a point should be somewhere over here and the distance between those two points should be the stand diameter divided by 2 and confirm and confirm. Now those two points should be aligned horizontal maybe they are already let's take a look No, that's too much. Just this point and that point. Horizontal aligned. Now it is. Confirm and let's go and finish that sketch. I could put a reference point right there. So go for a point and just put it right there. And confirm. Great. I will need a helix. So let's go for a helix. Should be helix and spiral, yes. And I want to go for the top plane. That will be a circle. And that diameter could be two times, not two times, but that could be the stand diameter. Stand diameter. Confirm. Confirm finish that sketch. Now I want to go for 10 revolutions and it would be nice to have the height. So let's go for height and revolution. That height should be the stand and that will not work, so I want to go for 200 millimeter and 10 revolutions, yes, and the start angle might be zero. And confirm, which gives me that helix, that's okay. 
and a start angle of 90 would be better so let's edit this one and go for 90 degrees And confirm. Yeah, that's more like it. Now I need another sketch on the front plane. And yeah, the diameter could be more. I could go for a line which is maybe like that. So I want to have a dimension of two times the stent diameter. So that would be the stent diameter times two. Confirm, confirm. There may be a little bit less, but it's okay anyway. So leave that sketch. Now let's go for a sweep, a surface sweep, swept surface, and the sketch profile, that's the path, the path would be this one here, and the sketch profile should be this one here, looks good, so let's confirm this. Yes. Now hide that surface body for the moment. And I need another sketch. I could hide that helix as well. Then go for a sketch on the front plane. And I want to use that point here and I want to use a spline. So let's start here, maybe go like this, maybe like that, okay, maybe like this here. Now let's align those two points horizontal. Yep. And maybe adjust that a little bit. Yeah, maybe like that. That's okay. Leave that sketch. Now I want to make a surface revolve. So go to surfaces. Go for revolved surface. I want to use this as axis. And 360 degrees, that's okay. Great. Okay, now I want to create an intersection curve. So let's go for a 3D sketch. And I want to do an intersection curve. So therefore I need that surface sweep here as well. And I should be able to do that intersection curve and I might have to extend the surface that let's see let's go for intersection curve and I want to intersect this surface here with that one and confirm and close that sketch Now hide those two surfaces. And I should be able to use this one here for my sweep. So I can use a circular sweep. No sketch needed. So go to surfaces, go for swept surface. I want to go for a circular profile. This would be the path, and that diameter here 
should be the Y diameter. Let's see if we can add. Yes, we can. Y diameter. Any options? No, no, no. That's okay. Let's confirm this. And sorry, I don't want a surface sweep, but I need a solid sweep. So let's undo this and go for a solid sweep. Swap for space. Same circular. That's the path. And the wire diameter should be the diameter. And confirm. Now I want to shape this. So let's hide that first sketch. Hide that body here. And I want to have two offset surfaces. So that would be the surface revolve here. Now I want to extend it. So go for, let's extend surface, maybe on this edge, 5 millimeter. And that edge as well, 5 millimeter. And confirm. Now, I need an offset surface. So where's the offset? No, there you go. Offset surface. And this should be, if possible, the Y diameter. So that's not available here. So I want to go for 0 0.25 millimeter. And I want to offset this surface including the extensions. Okay. And is there some sort of error? No, there is no error. It looks not visible, so let's switch a little bit closer. If I change this, that's really hard to see. So this should be to the inside. Confirm. And then another one. So go for another offset. Same surface. Not this one. Clear that selection. And go for the surface extend and the surface revolve. Both of them. So go here. So this one here, let's extend, yes. Delete this. Now again, 0 0.25, and it should be to the outside. I think that's it, and confirm. Now hide this one, and maybe that one. Bring back that body. And let's take a closer look. Where is it? Somewhere over here, yes. There you go. And it seems that's the outer one, that's okay. So I want to go for a surface cut. So go for surfaces. And I want to cut with surface. So go for cut with surface. The surface would be this one here. Let's zoom in. Okay. And confirm there's just one body. This should work so it removed the outside. That's okay. Looks good. Hide that surface here, that offset surface. And bring back this one here. Okay, let's cut once more. So go for another surface cut. Cut with surface. This would be the surface. Let's see if it's to the... Well, that's hard to tell. So let's do it and see what happens. So that's the wrong side. So edit it and switch 
the site and confirm again. That's it. Now hide the surface. Great. Now I want to make a mirror and then a pattern if possible. Now I want to try and mirror this. It could give me some problems because it's a parasolid based program. So let's see where are my planes. There you go. I think that would be the right one. Yes. So go to features, go for mirror. I want to mirror with the front plane. Yep. And I want to mirror body. This body here. I could try to merge the solids. Let's see if it works. Just confirm and see if it works. If not, I will go and deactivate that merge solids command. But it might work. Yep. Now, maybe switch the display and remove the shadows. Now I want to make a circular pattern and sketch number one would be the axis for that circular pattern. Circular pattern. Direction would be, of course, that line here. I want to go for four instances, equal spacing, 360 degrees, and I want to pattern a body. This body here, that one here, that mirror. Let's try and see if it works. No. Set angular dimension. Oh, I've lost that one here. Now it's OK. And confirm. And I'm done. So I hope this was helpful. Hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would really help. You could follow all me also on LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, GrabCat, Facebook and many more. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.